morning from the happy housewife. As you can see, by the way, I'm dressed up. It's a little cool this morning in Amstenrad, but I cannot stop from going on my health walk. Uh, so as I said in a, one of my previous messages or videos, keeping healthy is really important. It keeps you fit physically and mentally because I don't know about you, but I don't know anybody who's not in shape that does not feel good about themselves. You feel, yeah. So I know that you know that keeping fit physically will also keep you fit mentally because it gives you more confidence, self-esteem, you know. But I wanted to talk about something else. But first, I gotta get this off my chest. Oh my God, I thought it was gonna explode when my niece sent me an email yesterday saying that she got engaged. Yes, she got engaged. Oh my God, this is so exciting. And then she tells me that I can't say anything. Oh my God, I was about to explode. Enough already, please post it on Facebook. Do something. I was going crazy. I just wanted to share this news. It was just so amazing. I'm so happy for her. And Mitch is a good guy. So I'm so, so happy for them. So congratulations to Emmanuel. I love you. And I know your wedding is going to be amazing because you helped me do mine. And I know for a fact it's going to be gorgeous. So anyway, that's out of the good. I wanted to tell you, you know, for many years I was so busy with life and work that I would often find myself into my own bubble. And I never really paid attention to what was going on around me. And I don't know about you, but I didn't see things in the right way. I didn't see things properly. I saw them through eyes that were through within. What I'm trying to say is that a lot of the times in my life I spent my years in a bubble. You know, it was all about me. I wasn't really seeing the outside unless it had something to do with me. And a few years back, I decided to make some major changes in my life because growing older, I thought there's got to be something more, right? There's got to be something more. And I've asked me myself these questions for a long time. There's got to be something more. I just didn't know what the more was. I just want to say that when I started spiritually getting fit, meditating, praying, whatever you believe in, knowing that there's something bigger than you that's helping you see life in a different way, that you are not alone, that you're not controlling everything. Actually, you're not controlling anything, really. But I just realized once I started looking out from within, looking out from my own bubble, I started seeing life and things in such a way that took my breath away and inspired me to be a better person. And these changes didn't come, you know, from one day to the next. They just came slowly and just clearly. So if I can suggest anything, for those of you who are going, what's wrong with my life? What's not working? How come this is not working? Let go, let go and let something bigger than you show you what is beautiful. I mean, look at this scenery. I gotta stop here, show you. This is what I am walking to in the morning. How beautiful is this? I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you that when I was in my bubble, I never saw this beauty. I never ever saw this beauty because I was so stuck in myself that I didn't see what was around me. I wasn't looking. So today I'm appreciating every moment, every second of my life. And I'm so grateful that I'm able to consciously, consciously get out of myself every morning and look around. So if you have a minute, like now, stop wherever you are, whether you're at work, there are still a lot of good positive things at work, even though you're complaining about your job or something you like or don't like, 
find the good. Find the good because this is what's going to make your heart soft and happy and all smudgy. So stop, look around, out of yourself, and listen. Listen to your life. I can hear a chainsaw, but that's okay because that means somebody's working, doing something positive for their life, probably cutting wood for the fire. It's not a noise that's going to bother me because I found the good behind it. But one more time, this is what I choose to see outside of myself, to really appreciate every second of the day. And even though you're busy, I know that there is at least one minute that you can take some time to get out of yourself and into this world and really seeing the beauty of it. We've got about less, less than 12 months to go in this country and I'm really going to appreciate it and really enjoy. So I know I went on a tangent, but I just wanted to let you know how important it is to take some time outside of yourself and that's where you see the true beauty and the guidance as to where your life should go next. So I love you and I'm going to continue my health walk and uh, enjoy this beautiful day. Take care, and uh, I love you very much. And congratulations, Emmanuel! Oh my God, she's getting married. My niece is getting married. Oh, that means after that, the kids might come. I'll be a great aunt. Oh, wait a minute. Am I ready for this? Yes. All right. Bye, ladies. Love you.